Hello everyone and welcome to this video of reassembling your 18 inch tall human anatomy torso model. I'm Dr. Marcus Ross. I'm going to walk you through uh, the pieces and the parts that we have in reverse order from the other video that we have uh, so that we can get this thing all back together again because you got excited, you opened it up your model, you pulled apart all the things and then went, oh man, where do they go? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is flip our model over to the back side and take our thoracic vertebrae. The thoracic vertebrae uh, connect into the, um, the ribs on either side and their spinal cord segment goes right in there. Flipping them back over, the first thing that we want to put back into the, uh, to the cavity here are the back parts of the four lung units that we have. So for the lungs, the back parts are the ones that have the small hole in it. We'll stick those in and those will nest right up at the top. Then we have our piece for the trachea and esophagus. It has a small pin that is uh, placed down at the bottom next to the lungs here. It goes straight in underneath there. Uh, we also have a trachea, that's this spot right here, and the trachea will uh, go in, let's see, with the two uh, with the two entrances on one side and one entrance on the other. Then uh, what we've got after that is the heart. The heart comes in two parts, so you take the smaller part with the small peg, slot that into the heart, close up all those uh, ventricles, and place the two pins directly under the two um, veins near the throat. That's going to slot in right over there. Okay, so most of this is set up here. We have the other parts to the lungs that have the small pins on them. Those are gonna go in on either side of the heart. Lift up the heart just a little bit to slide that in slide in the last part and now the upper part of the chest cavity is complete working our way down lower first thing we'll want to do is take the kidney put that back in because if you put everything else in you forget about the kidney and you got to pull the guts back out again we also want to put in our uh, spleen pancreas and duodenum and that is going to go just underneath of the diaphragm and there's a little peg fits right underneath there and that will go in that spot sitting up nicely against the diaphragm. Okay, from that point we've got the stomach and the liver. The liver is going to go kind of on top but we'll put the stomach in first because there's a small peg right here with a slot to go in for the stomach. There we go. And then slide the liver in right underneath there. That tucks in nice and firm. The last of the guts that we have is the small intestine which goes in here and then the last items that we have are the half brain going inside the cranium which then pegs slot in and your anatomy model is complete. So everything is back together again with all of its pieces and parts. This is Dr. Marcus Ross with Cornerstone Educational Supply. Lord bless you. We'll see you later.